good morning everyone this is another session on hypnotism and in this video we will be trying to understand hypnotism in in a much more rational way and we'll try to understand it in detail so you know in in times to come i'll be uploading a lot of videos on hypnotism we'll ha also have a detailed look into handwriting analysis and of course uh, another thing which which uh, which also i'm uploading nowadays is on face reading but that will uh, more so be available in the other channel which is known as the tarot palmistry channel and uh, here only i'll be giving up a few of the videos and of course the core the core here remains to be the palmistry and uh, astrology and numerology now let us try to understand hypnotism now hypnotism is nothing but it's it's sort of an introspective activity in which you go deep inside yourself and try to understand yourself try to fix yourself in uh, uh, many times and try to resolve a lot of issues you know so hypnotism is a kind of uh, you know it's 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 somewhat like meditation but uh, a bit different from that but see the basic principle remains same see our head or our brain is made of uh, you know m uh, around 30 billion neurons you know that's a huge number 30 billion neurons are there and of course these connections and uh, you know uh, these connections and all they keep changing and if if we do try to change them for positive again there will be a lot of uh, you know uh, a lot of positivity which can come in so yeah the brain structure keeps changing as the the neurons pattern keeps changing and that's why it becomes really important now the main uh, the main importance of hypnotism is to change these bad patterns you know somewhat some uh, sometimes we have a repetitive negative pattern and we need to break that isn't it so for that hypnotism is a very useful tool now let us try to first understand what all can hypnotism you know how can it help like for example hypnotism can help us improve our uh, you know willpower so the willpower can get improved right uh, then our um, yeah, one second yeah so the willpower uh, can improve then your uh, ability to focus right focus then intelligence um, it can also help you to relax you you know reduce stress um, also improve your intelligence so there is a lot of positives of hypnotism and hypnotism does not have a drawback um, you know generally it does not have a drawback and it's very positive way of healing your brain sort of healing and improving your brain right at times we see that a lot of people are stuck in some fixed patterns and we need to break them and improve the pattern so we'll be discussing about that now basically in hypnotism how it starts now whenever you're trying to hypnotize a person or if you're trying to uh, do a self-hypnosis kind of thing uh, okay what we what we need is a very quiet room you know it should be a very quiet room and you should be sitting in a very relaxed manner right uh, like a doll you know it, it, just leave yourself you know just be relaxed and the first thing is start taking breathing okay start with the breath so take in the breath slowly okay hold it for some time and then exhale so that that's how you will start entering into the alpha stage right this is the first stage um, of uh, the hypnotism alpha alpha stage can be achieved or attained by anyone you know it's like uh, uh, it's like sort of uh, getting hypnotized to some extent but very partially and you know you are mostly conscious only thing is that yes to an extent the amount of negative thoughts goes away and uh, we can say to an uh, extent the muscle relaxation happens in this stage and also a uh, heart rate becomes normal so at the alpha stage we can say that you know you tend to become relax you tend to relax your muscles relax and your heart rate goes down now if you further try to you know uh, uh, concentrate more on your breathing and and focus more on your inner or your introspective drives and slowly you will start going into the next stage which is the deep alpha stage now what happens in the deep alpha stages uh, is that you start uh, the stress the stress reduction starts happening you kind of start feeling a bit sleepy drowsiness comes into picture and there is a lot of healing effects which starts happening here so if you just want to reduce stress and feel better you should go only up till the deep alpha stage it would be good enough you know uh, to to make you a bit less stressful now further going down if you further uh, continue the practice of hypnotism you'll start taking automatic suggestions now this is a very uh, critical stage in hypnosis uh, here in this light theta stage your body starts accepting someone else's commands or suggestions like for example suppose your friend says you know you should not um, 
you should start focusing on your studies or something like that so this goes into the subconscious mind now and you start accepting these suggestions so when you get up somewhere in subconscious mind it's always there that you have to study and and that's how it it kind of helps you know the lights uh, you know the light theta stage then if you go into the more core hypnosis then we reach a, a still more deeper point which is known as the deep theta stage and in this stage your your body is definitely it starts um, you know it's 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 a stage where you can take out your true potential i mean if someone is there he can keep asking you what you're good at so the inner potential uh, you can communicate and that's how you can get to know about your strengths and weaknesses as well it's like you know somewhat going into your uh, psychic or going into your brain inside your brain and finding out what you're made of so that is the deep theta skill and of course uh, it requires a lot of practice to go into that stage in any way the alpha stage is uh, helpful just for starters we go into deep alpha stage to reduce stress light theta stage to get auto suggestions so get out of negative loops or induce positive loops in the mind we go to the deep theta stage to understand our true potential uh, by accessing the subconscious mind so this is again a basic of uh, you know the basic of hypnotism and of course we understood that it helps a lot you know it it helps us to adapt to changes it helps us improve our intelligence focus concentration all these kind of things it's brilliant you know hypnotism is really brilliant and you have to practice it with full dedication in in generally not self hypnosis is not good in in presence of some practitioner some uh, in in presence of your friend if you do it it will help you a lot so hopefully you got few more insights about hypnotism then we'll be going into later on into more depth of it for now these are just the basics i'm shutank take care